So it looks like we will be able to work our way around Agawam here, which is good. Um, what are we looking for now? I still need a hacksaw and a wrench. But we're still on the lookout for those two basic tool types. Uh, we have limited combat ability with a rapier and uh, parkour movement, giving us some opportunities to kill a few things if we need to. A mound of dirt! Uh oh It's the dreaded mound of dirt. Zombie dogs. I am not going to try to ride my bike up into that town. We've got enough nibble food that uh, we can go a while. Whoa. Well, hi there, big pile of zombies. <clears throat> hmm. The basement in that house. If I did want, if I, my, my goal is to find preferably a house I can set up in that'll be a cool house, meaning ideally, I think this is one of those that has both an upstairs and a downstairs. This one have the upstairs? I want to say this one has an upstairs as well. Yep. I can't tell. But I want to find one, ideally, one of these big ones that has an upstairs and a downstairs. So a basement as well as the, uh, the second floor. That one, eh, maybe. We're going to have to go out and around these guys. I think what I'll do is I'll, I'll cycle down this way. We'll find out what this is. And if there's a forest kind of blocking me over here, then we might roll back north again. Yeah, there's been further additions to the weak point system beyond its initial implementation where there are now proficiencies for the different enemy types that will... I don't know I don't know exactly how the math works, what it does, but basically if you gain the proficiency, you're going to be able to... You, you know that enemy type better, you know what the weak points are, and you'll hit them more often in the weak points. Um, I don't know just how the math works or what the... Um, how big the, the benefit is versus how much time and effort it might take to acquire it. <clears throat> that is a dermatic nest. Let's not bicycle next to the dermatic nest. <laughs> Should have realized that was a dermatic nest a little earlier. Ah, another farm. Uh, it's the, um, the horse farm. So the horse farm wouldn't be a terrible place to set up a base. There's not generally an attached zombie presence to the horse farm. Um, it's got a lot of wood raw material. It's got a small amount of the metal raw material. Get out of the way, Labrador mutts. I see no items. Small chance of getting tools in that uh, that back door there. How fast was I just going? I just noticed my bike was moving way faster than I thought. We haven't damaged it, have we? We have not. Cool. All right. Let's not uh, let's not get any horse foo going on. Boots and nothing. And nothing. All right, so no free and easy tools, but we got some metal from the lockers. Uh oh. Oh my goodness! Adjustable wrench, file set, pliers. So of course you only have bolt turning one. <laughs> Damn it. Uh. Bolt turning two! I didn't know locking pliers had bolt turning two. So that has the fine bolt turning. That has the bolt turning two. But I think the multi-tool has fine bolt turning. No, it does not. All right, so I'd have to have all of these silly things. 
Uh, but at least it gets us our bolt turning. Should we take a toolbox and throw all the tools in the toolbox? Is it space efficient? <laughs> I haven't looked. 11 pounds, 8 liters? Nah, let's not. That's a little surprising. I wasn't expecting to find a uh, toolbox just sitting right in there. Let's go along the road, I think. So yeah, this was a, a decent, easy base location. We're on a default game world, so there aren't going to be any wandering hordes or anything. So if the immediate area is clear, it'll stay clear forever. I just don't know if that's the kind of base I want. Lots of fencing we could take down. More lockers. Don't care about the the, uh, the greenhouse. Prop buildings, molding, and casting handbook, huh? As always, plenty of plenty of um, wood products. That's not usually an issue. Leg pants. Hey, so awesome. So we got blankets, electric blanket. We got pillows. Russian blue. Uh oh, marbles. Oh, we gotta take marbles. Maybe this would be a good spot for us to settle for the day just to get a few things crafted real quick. I still wanna get, um, I wanna do some throwing stuff. I wanna do a sling or staff sling or something along that lines with this character. I wanna try to, try to do something with the throwing skill. Molotovs, you know, good stuff like that. So what do we... Ooh, LMOE shelter right on the edge of town with a gun store on the edge of town. And another gun store on the edge of town. <laughs> with a pharmacy not far away. Well, that makes it somewhat interesting. We got a hunting supply store not too far in. <clears throat> Library. A dojo. Garage. Yeah, all right. I like the looks of this. So uh, we'll go check to see if the LMOE shelter has any occupants. Oh, wait. It's going to be locked, isn't it? We might be able to... Uh, I don't have anything that'll knock a tree down yet, do I? Hmm. I believe that's going to be locked. We'll either have to uh, drop a tree to get in or... Get gas for the torch. We've still got an endpoint here that I want to take a look at. So I think what we'll do for the moment is... That is what, the high substation? Yeah, small substation. Scout tower. All right. Trying to remember, is there a way to climb up one more level? I need a step ladder, that's what I would need. Know where to climb out. Eh, good enough. Uh so yeah. 
I mean, this would be a, a pretty easy place for us to, to set up a base in. Almost never anything in the kitchen. A one raw potato. <laughs> How about the pantry? Cooking oil. Eh, not bad. So, like I said, no inherent zombie population. Um, not a lot of metal, but enough to do some of the basics. Should we run down and check that last little office area? Yeah, we probably should. I haven't seen a single horse. Anybody seen a horse? Did I miss any horses? I don't see any, I don't see any animals whatsoever. No chickens, no horses. <coughs> Excuse me. A lot of aspirin. No tools. Can too be closed. Stop telling me it can't. All right. Uh, yeah, I have no wood saw. I have no axe so we wouldn't be able to drop a tree to get that thing open I don't think the multi-tool is going to knock a tree down Let's go by and take a look anyway. We'll just kind of do kind of a loop. We'll come down here. We'll see how this looks. And then we'll work our way down there. And then we might return here. Got about 45 more minutes in this particular stream. So we might uh, finish it up here at this horse farm. I'm surprised at uh, what we've seen in the realm of animals so far. I haven't seen any of the really nasty animals yet. A couple of wasps and the dermatic nest, but none of the other nasty stuff. Something flashed on the screen for a second there. Nothing else. We'll be able to climb on the top of this thing to get a look around with the binoculars. So, there's the door, huh? Yep, it is locked. Those metal door, likely locked. Uh oh, is that a collapsed tower? Oh, collapsed tower. Ah, <laughs> right next to a hospital. Ouch. And uh, that's a second uh, hunting supply store. That's uh, it's kind of risky. It's awful close to that collapsed tower. All right, so we have no way of getting in here right now. There's a hole in the wall. Are they trying to lure me into a, uh, a looted gun store? Tough zombie wear. Right there, huh? Not sure I'll be able to get into the building without getting some zombies coming after me. <laughs> a lot of corpses of humans in there.
<laughs> All the batteries are broken. <laughs> Cargo spaces. Be funny to get a working vehicle at a dump. Drained tank. Yeah, it's so far lots of drained tanks and lots of uh, lots of batteries, dead batteries. Oh, we'll have to keep an eye out for a solution to those problems. Not sure if anything saw me or not. Let's go peek inside. Iron sights, a speed loader, leg pouches. All right, that's too much stuff I'm seeing there. I need to do it this way. A couple of pretty damaged weapons. 99 rounds of 9 mil. <laughs> Sitting right underneath the zombie. I'd have to get all the way down to that zombie in order to get into the back room here. Hmm. Yeah, looted buildings in vanilla are mostly timer-based. I think there's a chance they'll be looted right at the start, but they're mostly a... Uh, as time passes, more and more of them are determined. So as you explore the world, chances of them being looted increases as time goes by. That's to simulate looting by NPCs and other people um, as time advances in your game world. So that's been in place in experimental for a while. I don't, I don't, I don't remember if that's unstable or not. So do I mess with this or do I not? I'm probably going to get the attention of uh, several of the zombies outside if I try this. Is that zombie to my south spot of me? He has. So he's going to come up my way. I could try to stab him with my rapier. Get into our first actual fight. Well, the storm I have is a pistol. It's not a submachine gun. The PX4 storm is a 40 cal pistol. It's not the, uh, the submachine gun version. I do not have a 9 mil. I got a shotty gun and I got that 40 caliber pistol. Hmm. Go for the rapier. Wait, I gotta remember I'm severely over encumbered if I go into melee combat. 65 torso encumbrance because of all these bags I'm wearing. <clears throat> I need to ditch some of these bags. I'm going to ditch the messenger bag. Don't need you anymore at all. And I can take off the leather backpack, I think. Yeah. All right. Now I'll go to the rapier. 52 still. <laughs> Dang it. Uh, Peacoat, you're next. Fifty warmth. Hmm. Sweatshirt is high breathability better or worse? another guy in there now I don't know I'm not sure it's worth it 
I think the back area is mostly going to be firing range. I don't recognize this design. They've changed the designs of a lot of the gun stores. I don't know if it's worth me trying to fight these guys. Especially when I don't have terrain I can take advantage of. Could just lure them outside and then bike back again. Because that would be an option. Run the risk of other zombies. Now we're at three in that room? Where'd that third guy come from? Now there's four? <laughs> what the hell? Uh, I had visibility this entire length at one point. And the only possible place they could be coming from was this room. But they shouldn't, they couldn't have seen me. So why are these guys all appearing all of a sudden? Are they like dropping in from an upper area? It's kind of weird. I would like to stop somewhere and smash a few of these guys. <clears throat> bodies are, oh that's true that could be the body standing up all the human corpses was I getting messages about it and I didn't notice uh, corpse rises and moves towards you mm, I only got the one message but maybe I only saw one and that's why I only saw the message a single time we're up to five now Come on, fifth guy. I not leave them right where the LMOE is. Drag them out this way a bit. And we'll kick us up to 12 speed and we'll leave them in our dust. Black rats. Ah, they still see me. They're curving back around. And now I brought the guys out from the south. Dang it. <laughs> Not good. Oh, there's a back door. There's a back door. It's open. All right, let's drag these guys out. We'll reverse our, our route here. We'll circle around the other way. What else are we seeing back here? Ouch! <laughs> Almost let one hop in the basket. <clears throat> That's right, I can't go faster than seven or eight. Why is it seven now? It was... Did I ever get to eight earlier? I'm actually not sure if I made it to eight earlier. Maybe it has been seven the entire time. Does the bike have a bell? <laughs> I don't know. Does the bike have a bell? It has a horn. All right. Do I have a clean run at it this time? I do not. Zombies in the front entryway again. They haven't seen me yet. Can I cut the corner? get into the back area without them seeing me like we might make ah, a big old pile of zombies two of them already see me damn it I don't want to go in there not knowing if there's a way to get back out again I don't think I have time even to dash in and check those cases or the uh, the crates Erg. around again one more time
I gotta stop. I gotta cease stopping the bike. Every time I do that, I forget how long it takes me to get it moving again. Nope. Damn it. Ugh. Well, what to do, what to do. Oh, I'm not going in just for the 9 mil ammo. I want to get into this back area. I just can't remember if this is all shooting range area back here. If it's all shooting range, there's not going to be anything back here, really. But I was hoping to just jump in or run in, check these crates, and then kind of peek down in this to see if this is just a shooting range. I just can't. I don't know this design. <clears throat> so I just need to get to this point. <laughs> right, right in here. And then I'll know for sure if I want to risk it. I just don't want to keep circling and circling and circling and circling. Given how many we have here currently, I think I could probably leave my bike here. And if I ran in, these guys would all follow me. And I could loop around. The guys that were here earlier have now come out. Unless more guys appear here because of all those corpses. I just don't want to go in and then get stuck where I, I have to fight my way out. Ah, see now there's somebody in the hallway. Uh, no can do. Let's see. Maybe I can just lead these guys north enough to give me the time I need to run in and back out again. I wish there were some animals nearby or something I could get these guys to chase. Give him a honk? Sure. There you go. <laughs> the sound pack only has one honk noise. <laughs> I don't know if any of the sound packs differentiate the honk noises. Alright, let's lead them all right back to me. Somebody's still right in that area. Marbles! Give marbles. Ah, zombie! I wanted all the marbles. So if I do a, a slingshot or a sling, I can I can use marbles. Those guys are still running directly down towards me. I'm getting nervous. <laughs> Screw it. What's the worst that could happen? You know, half a dozen more zombies in this one damn room. There's three more. My northern route's about to get cut off. Oh, crap. And there's somebody definitely in this room as well. All right, it's about to get ugly. I gotta get out of here. Run mode. All right, took a hit. Can I get pedaling fast enough? Facing backwards. Yeah, it's back up to four. <laughs> we had, what, five in there originally? All right, I give up. <laughs> I'm not going to keep trying. Let's go. PX4 9mm magazine.
Let's go. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Let's not go into town. Oh crap. Oh crap. No, he's in the back. No, he's in the back. Ah oh, crap. Okay, here we go. Fun times. Can I pedal while stabbing? Nope. <laughs> now we have a problem. Unlike a vehicle, I cannot continue to bike while I'm uh, stabbing something. Oh, boy. Let's see. Now we're going on an adventure. So, let's see. We're not moving, even though I've got the speed set to 12. I'm going to get hit extra times trying to do this. Uh, speed zero. Run mode. Let's see. Just do a short circle and try to get back to the bike or go down into that house or that building and then around. I'm tempted to go down along the building and hop the fence here. I just have visions in my head of it being, uh, you know, one of those dog houses. It's possible I can just loop my way through and back out again. Just dangerous because I could get blocked in. Oh man, decisions, decisions. I think the smarter play is to go around, not put myself in a place where I can't maneuver. Back to walk mode. Hey, zombie dog. Whoa, well, it wasn't a pack of dogs in there at least. Back to run mode. Uh-oh. <laughs> Why the hell are you hanging out near my bike, you stupid zombies? That's annoying. Get away from my bike. Okay, we have successfully burned uh, one bar of stamina for no gain. <laughs> uh, let's see. Pull these guys. And now I've got a feral runner coming up from behind me as well. I need to be able to get to the bike and have at least like half a dozen eight spaces between me and an enemy. So I've got an option of pulling out this way to pull these guys across, going up and then kind of doing a diagonal dash for the bike. It'll work as long as there's not more stuff out here that then replaces these as I try to come back to my bike. Problem's gonna be the zombie dog and the feral runner with the fast move abilities. And I don't have enough. And I got a zombie child right there, too. It'll be annoying. I could try to go through the dump and then loop back. I got a triple pack of feral runners there, too, who all see me. All right, yeah, it's about to get itchy. Uh oh. We got an ambulance with stuff. That's not a car. Call that a car. That's an ambulance. Why are you calling that a car? Is that the ambulance or is that the security van? I want to say that's an ambulance. Oh, it says it's a hippie van. No way that's a hippie van. Oh, there's a car. Oh, I see. There's a car and a hippie van. All right. That's fooling me. It's not an ambulance. Never mind. I get it. All right. What to do? What to do? So, no convenient drain pipes. And I'm not sure I would succeed. Eh, I'd probably succeed the climb. Eh, maybe not. I got a lot of, uh, I got a lot of encumbrance. I don't think I can use the dump. Those feral runners, that pack of feral runners will cause me too much of a problem. I'm worried now about the range. As I try to come across, they'll come straight up. 
while I try to do a button hook and come back down to my bike. I could just go off into the forest and hope I lose them in the forest. But I get movement advantage on the all the rough terrain with the grasses and the bush and stuff, and they don't. It was possible I could lose them in the forest if I don't hit something else nasty in there. Just don't know if I'd have the stamina to get to the part where I'd survive. Let's try it. Let's do the thing you're not supposed to do. Run off into the forest. <laughs> or into the open. Zombie dog's already here. Whoa, and those guys moved faster than I thought. Maybe we'll just button hook from right here. Yeah, I think this is going to be the best solution. Even if the dog gets back in the bike with me. Because I'm now far enough from these guys. As I run this way, they'll keep coming across to me. So I'll have enough distance, I think, on them. It's going to come down to how, how much of a lead can I get on the dog. Alright, there's the distance I was hoping for. I think we'll be okay. If we get moving anytime soon. <laughs> One mile per hour. Two miles per hour. Come on, don't let that damn dog in the basket again. Three miles per hour. Ah, One space. There we go. Four. Five. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny oh I've got the shoddy I've got all sorts of stuff I mean we, we could have whipped out the Mossberg or <laughs> gotten the rapier going or a few other things but we didn't need them didn't need them at all we squeaked it out you probably thought I was kidding when I said I needed like six to eight spaces I wasn't kidding this bike on uh, bike on dirt hard to get moving Slow. Look at that crowd. Alright, well I never quite made it to that... Ooh, wait, wait. I can sort of see in that... I, I ran by that one door. Yeah, that's the firing range back there. Alright, so I'm glad I didn't go in there. Although it looks like there's one more possible storage area. So it would have been nice to get in there. And I technically I guess I could try the loop one more time. I don't think I'm going to worry about it right now, though. Yeah, that was super close. One mile per hour, two miles per hour. Um, Let's try to bring these guys up north away from this house that I might want to loot at some point. Probably should not take them all the way back to the farm. <laughs> Let's not do that. Be funny when they end up there anyway. Okay, we got a semi wreck. We got rats. Is that one of the. Uh... No. Um. That's one of the good sized houses, though. Hmm. No windows on this side, huh? That's a little annoying. And a cunning feral coming my way. Would have been nice if we could have not gotten his attention. Is that a visitor pass? The tra transport freight employee badge. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh oh, am I gonna get off? Get that thing fast enough? Hopefully. We're on pavement now, so we should be able to scoot out of here easy. Yeah. All right, we got a freight badge.
Hmm, looking pretty similar. <clears throat> looking really similar. Um Oof. Libraries. Yeah, this is a, a pretty good fun town for us, I think. We got access to uh some fun buildings in the middle of town we can try to get to. Uh, we got a TCL just north here that we can go have fun with. We got a badge to get in already. We got more endpoints we haven't explored up here. Um, I'd like to get a high point so I can see kind of down this way. I can manage it somewhere. And I mean, the top of the evac shelter would give me a good view up here. Probably get all three of those. Probably not that one. I'm not sure if it'll go that far. A lot of squirrels and stuff, huh? That's the pharmacy right there? Hmm. Skittering Plague. Uh-oh. Gittering plague. <clears throat> Hanging out in the restaurant? Yep. I kind of want to take a uh, shoddy gun to this firefighter, see if we can get the fire axe off of him. Wield. Mossberg. Store that in inventory. Not moving. Fire. Oops, I'm in the grass again. I gotta remember that. <laughs> Nine damage. Nine. Jeez. Seems a little weird that I'm allowed to bicycle and fire a shotgun, but I'm not allowed to bicycle and stab somebody in the basket directly behind me. <clears throat> 55. Almost dead. You gonna bleed to death? Heavy arterial bleeding torso. Cool. We'll let him bleed to death. No grabbing. Here come the ferals. Come on, fall over. Down he goes. A wallet with 16 hidden items, huh? Did not give me what I wanted. I was hoping for a gas mask or the uh, the fire axe. <clears throat> All right. Unfortunately, the gun I have, that's the pipe wheeling maniac. Don't want him. No fire stations out this way. No fire stations. All right. Let's just keep moving. Would love to hop into this house. It looks like I have pretty clear run on. Technician! You cannot have my shoddy. 
All right, let's go down to this road end and see what the um, endpoint location is. Yeah, it just seems weird. <laughs> I wonder if I... No, I can't melee attack without letting go of the handlebars, which then... So what I did was I let go of the controls. Now, normally in a vehicle, <clears throat> cruise control will just keep you moving. But I let go of the controls to then have access to be able to hit the guy behind me. But yeah, the, it immediately drops to zero speed. So, can't quite do the same thing. Had I had the shotgun out, I could have easily taken care of the dog. Just point blanked him. Junkyard. Oh, so many choices. So many choices. It's funny to me that you can't get tools at the junkyard generally. You can get the welding kit. I wonder if uh, this one will have changed the uh, the drop rate. Hey, very vehicle. Uh, got a security system, do you? <laughs> vehicle tanks draining. What a surprise. Oh, it's an electric. Oh, it's a hybrid electric motor as well. I got to keep an eye out for those. Keep forgetting about those. You're looking pretty good. Broken security system. Vehicle tank draining. What a shock. Wonder if there's any 60 liter tanks left in the world. <laughs> I have to I have to see if there's any 60 liter tanks anywhere in the world. What do we got? Low level zombies, low level zombies. Um Don't need likely what they've got for gear, so let's just lead them off. Save the ammo. Back towards town will be fine. A trick with waiting in the door before you move to close it. Oh yeah, that's that's great A premium stuff there. Super important to know when that's critical. You're lucky it doesn't come up often where it's actually a factor, but when it does, it can very much mean the difference between life and death. Yeah, electric is what I was thinking I was probably going to end up being in. Uh, I want to try the electric scooter kind of uh, solution again. Block 22, huh? And a first aid kit here. <laughs> so, sure, we'll scoop up a survivor's note and some long string. <coughs> Excuse me. Apparently I missed the Glock. Isn't that the Glock? Oh. Oh, I see. Uh, can I grab it while driving? Apparently I can. Well, see, now we need all that 9 mil ammo. Uh, I don't want to get those zombies back on my tail yet. Go see if the junkyard has the welding rig, the engine crane. It's wide, zombie. Didn't quite clear everybody. One, two, three, four, huh? Hmm. Um. 
<laughs> what is it with the random Glocks on the ground? <laughs> Weird. <laughs> Another first aid kit laying on the ground. Another opportunity, I think. No damage. No damage. Hmm. Didn't get enough aiming in, I'm going to guess. Three shots left. Um... <laughs> That's two with no damage. And we're not missing. We're actually hitting him. Okay. I'll stop wasting uh, shots on the armored SWAT zombie. Oh, I know it's not great for that guy. <coughs> Probably hitting him in the torso when he's got the ballistic plate in there. I would like to kill him. We could try the pistol, the 40 cal pistol. Not sure it's going to have that much more luck. Hmm. How about the BB gun? I never did reload the storm. I wonder if I can reload it while biking. Things to do while biking. Grazed. Ten. Oof, it's gonna take a lot of shots. Almost down. Gonna bleed to death. Heavy arterial. He should bleed to death. So we'll stop wasting bullets on him. What you got, Mr. Swat Zombie? Riot armor? Damaged riot armor? That's it. That's unfortunate. I thought it'd be better than that. <clears throat> Alright, these guys, let's uh let's Whoa, slow down. Not smash into something. Damn it. I smash into something. Stop driving. Uh, let's see. Wield the rapier. Store that in inventory. Drop the rucksack. And let's use the vehicle as a stabbing platform. Come to me, Mr. Zombies. <laughs> I smashed it and destroyed the seat. That's funny. Who's next? <laughs> oh, I keep forgetting I don't have to pulp corpses. That's why it's happening. As I damage my rapier, smashing it into a military vehicle. Alright, where were the others? Didn't I have like four guys? Oh, just that guy. Alright, uh, let's go grab that other, other Glock. 
two whole rounds. Nah, we'll just unload it. Reload. Uh, you. Reload you. Reload you. Reload you. Reload all the things. Let's make sure there's bullets in the various things. It is not reloading. Where you now reload. You don't have any to reload. Oh, wow. Really? Oh, it's on the bike. There it is. Sure was funny that we got that massive pile of 40 cal Smith & Wesson FMJ <laughs> for three different guns now. go check out see what we got well, no welding rig we got the engine crane <clears throat> hand jack yeah same thing messed up engine crane <laughs> it's okay hand jack will work got the telescopic crane on it Nothing else, though. Yeah, it's always been weird to me that you've got the, the welding rig and you've got the engine crane hand jack, but no other tools. Not so much as a screwdriver. Alt the engine, no tank. Oh my god, it's got a tank that works! Pristine looking tank! Battery's out of charge and it has no wheels, but, you know. Good old hippie van. And it's got a functional security system. <laughs> None of those are good things. I don't see anything else that uh, maybe could be workable. Chunk of meat. Yeah, all the batteries are drained. That does have a tank. No controls. No wheels. Electric motor, but no battery. <clears throat> and a security system. I mean, with time and effort, I could probably jury rig together a working vehicle out of the, the available options that are here at the location. How many, uh, so far from the solar vehicles I've seen, we've had a fair amount of working solar panels. These are pretty trashed, but, um, a few solar panels. <clears throat> so another location where, I mean, the hand jack now is the only thing here and we could take that technically with us if I was willing to carry it. Um, problem is with the, uh, the bike, if I, if I want to fold the bike, I can't replace the, the wire basket. I can't just put a cargo space on that. As soon as I do, I can't fold the bike anymore. I don't know how critical it is that I am able to fold the bike. Like if I'm going to want to get through a forest area, um, like if I wanted to, to get the bike from here to here, if I couldn't find a path that I could drive it through, I could fold it and then carry it over and then unfold it, which is the advantage it gives. <clears throat> but as soon as I put a different uh, bike on there, it's not going to work. Hey there, Mr. Bandit. Hey there, Bandit group. <laughs> Wasn't I already up in that area? 
What the hell are you guys doing up there? And are, are you like moving down to take over my junkyard? That'd be kind of rude. All right, so junkyard with only the hand jack still here. Uh, I mean, vehicle parts galore, but not much else recommending this as a location. Um, it's nice with having a workshop of a decent size. I'd almost prefer it not to have this vehicle wreckage in here, just so I could build my own thing. Um, so, I mean, it's an okay building. Usually I come here for the welding rig and the, the engine crane. But um, we got other options we can take Thanks advantage of here. Firm. I think it's probably still a uh, <coughs> excuse me a better choice to use the uh, the horse farm as an initial stockpile point, and then make raids down into the town here, try to get the things that I want, and uh, then hit the TCL at some point. Hopefully we can come across an electric scooter. I think that's the next thing I'm really hoping to find. Bike shop? Gas station. Gas station. Another gas station. Another gas station. <laughs> Hardware store. There's a bike shop. Look at that. We can get to that. I don't think it'll necessarily have electric scooters there, but um, possibility. So yeah, we got a lot of fun choices here. Another gas station. So many gas stations in this town. Hmm. All right. Uh, can you put a motor on a folding bike? I don't believe so. I haven't tried all the variations. It's been a long time since I looked into that kind of thing, but I don't think you can. <clears throat> Hey there, Soggy Deaf Guy. Thanks very much for the resub. So as always, everybody, remember to uh, support your small streamers, your small content creators. Super, super important that you uh, you directly support them through whatever means that you have access to and available to you. Uh, they're not making any money off of uh, advertising revenue from the platform. So if they're doing something you enjoy and you, uh, you come back to them fairly often to enjoy the content, try to kick them a sub, kick them a tip, kick them uh, whatever you can for whatever place you're viewing their content at it, it can vary depending on where it's at but uh super important not necessarily me if you want to do it for me that's great i'm happy to, to take the support but uh, any content creator super super important uh but that's all the time we've got for this evening unfortunately i made it through without hacking my lungs out i had to I definitely coughed quite a bit but not nearly as much as friday and my voice is feeling better so i think we're we're finally to the point where i can keep streaming so i'm gonna be back tomorrow doing some more streaming of some stuff uh we're back on the regular cataclysm schedule so we'll continue this particular challenge on friday and uh try to get into some more shenanigans we got some interesting stuff so i'll try to get into some more uh combat encounters and all that kind of fun stuff uh so thanks for hanging out having some fun in the cataclysm have a great evening 